Hi, I'm Erin from Cottage Designs by Erin, where you're currently in my sewing room. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to appropriately costume a 1950s Jenny doll. So I have a couple little Jennies here that I use. Here's one of my favorite little girls, and she's wearing her original costume, which consists of a tartan plaid cotton with her little apron. And then she has matching panties and her socks and shoes. Now, I make and sell a lot of Jenny doll clothing in my online store, Cottage Designs by Erin on Etsy. And the, it is a tricky, tricky skill, but I can tell you how you go about it, which is the purpose of this video. So I have videos on YouTube showing you how to actually sew the dresses and the panties, but this one is gonna talk to you strictly about how you pick out the correct supplies. So the first thing you want to do is use actual Jenny doll patterns. This is a little worse for the wear, but this is one of my patterns. Uh, Jenny patterns were recently reintroduced or reissued. And so my favorite to use is Simplicity 3574. And in this particular pattern, I've made almost all of these outfits on the front of this. So, um, I've had much success with this. The directions are very easy to follow. You just have to go through each step, step by step, a little at a time, and take your time when making the dresses because they do require all out accuracy. Uh, this is a vintage pattern from the 90s. I haven't ever used this one. I'm guessing it's for the chubbier uh, vintage Jenny dolls from the 80s, but I don't really know because I haven't ever cut it and used it. This is also a pattern from the 50s. When buying patterns, I like to buy the actual originals, not the photocopies. And the reason being is the photocopies print off the patterns on great big heavy paper, which is difficult to then store. And they usually come with great big huge instruction sheets, which I also do not like. I prefer the actual original patterns. And most of the time they've already been cut. So the work is done for you. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about what sort of materials do you want to sew your Jenny clothing out of? And I want to tell you too how this came about. We had a, I live in Carmi, Illinois, which is located in Southern Illinois on the Indiana border. And we had a wonderful, wonderful antique store here, antique doll store for many years called Rhoda's Doll Emporium. And Rhoda Wade was the owner, and she asked me to sew for her some Jenny doll dresses. I was immediately taken with the Jennies. I mean, how can you not be? They're so cute, and they're so tiny. But I had never sewn anything that small, so I decided to try. She sent me home with a doll in a pattern, and I was off and running from there. But I learned a lot when making these clothes. For one thing, scale is very, very important, and it's probably the most important um, issue when making Jenny doll clothes. This is, I don't know if it's a feed sack or it's it's 100% cotton. It's exceptionally old. This is very ideal for making Jenny doll clothes. When I go to thrift stores, I always look for fabric remnants and scraps. Jenny clothing doesn't take that much. You need, you need one nice long piece for the skirt and then the rest of it can be made out of um, scraps for the for the panties and the bodice so you want a teeny tiny print because she's only seven to eight inches tall you can't put anything very large on her without it overpowering the doll um, say you want to make her some pajamas you would have to have a very teeny tiny flannel which is what this is and this is a remnant I paid 50 cents for okay so always look at Hobby Lobby and Joanne Fabrics and Walmart in the remnant sections when sewing Jenny doll clothing so that you can find what you need. All right, here's a little skirt, a little Jenny skirt I have started. I have to share it up. And it's a gingham and it's the tiniest gingham. Let's talk about trims. It is very easy to overpower the doll with a heavy trim. So you always need to look for vintage teeny tiny laces, when sewing for the doll. And again, I get most of mine from thrift stores, yard sales, that sort of thing. When sewing on rickrack, you have to use baby rickrack, which is the tiniest 
that you can get. It's it's made in almost every color. It's a little bit harder to come by. Um, people don't want to spend more than $20 on a Jenny doll dress. And so you have to keep that in mind when buying your fabrics and your trims. Now, I have made Jenny doll dresses out of taffeta. And that by far is the hardest. It's very stringy. It tends to slide around. So I tend to stick with cottons. So I have here a Jenny doll dress I made last night and it is all 100% cotton. And depending on what kind of trims is used on the dress, it can still be fancy even though it's made out of cotton. When making the Jenny panties, I always put a little flower or a little bow in the front so that the buyer knows the front from the back because not everyone pays attention to the seam. I always have a nice sash at the waist. Now, this is a matter of preference. My patterns show a wide sash, as you can see here, which makes the sash look like a cummerbund. But I have had people complain that the sash is too wide and they'd rather see a quarter inch wide ribbon. Whatever your preference is, I use whatever I have to match and I don't wanna to have to go out and buy ribbon, so I try to use ribbon that I have on hand. So even though polka dots were popular in the 50s like this, this is much too large for Jenny. It would completely overpower her, but it would be ideal for say, a Shirley Temple doll. This is a 17 inch Shirley Temple and she would look stunning in polka dots. So if you're gonna use polka dots for Jenny, it's best to use a pin dot or something teeny tiny. Um, I sometimes sew buttons on my Jenny dresses. And again, you have to use the smallest of small buttons that you can find. I put mine in this clear little organizer so that I don't have to dig around for them, okay? When sewing holiday dresses, holiday dresses are, are a big important thing because people want to be able to decorate their doll for display. So here I have a little Jenny doll Christmas dress I made and it is all made out of a teeny tiny retro print. I just saw where Keepsake Quilting is now selling diminutive miniature Christmas prints but it is $10.50 a yard. Okay, so that's kind of high. I, I don't want to have to spend that kind of money on fabric, and I prefer the look and feel of original cotton fabrics. And so I try to just buy vintage fabrics that will work for Jenny. And like I said, most of the time I have luck finding them at thrift stores. When I finish a dress, I always put it on a little dull hanger, and I put a pin through the panties and pin the panties to the dress. So when it comes time to ship, I have everything together that I need to go ahead and mail it out to the customer. So other things you need to know when making Jenny doll dresses is the bodice should be lined on the dress, okay? Because if you just sew under the edge, which is what some patterns call for, it will not hold up to washing. You need to make sure that it's lined because not only does it cause the dress to lay better, but it also will hold up to washing. So if it gets um, dusty on display, you can wash your fabric. Other trims that I use on these little dresses include these little rosettes. And they are just darling. And in my opinion, they really complete the outfit. So I hope you learned a little something from this video. We talked about available patterns, simplicity, and McCall's both made Jenny doll patterns. Stick to the original pattern or else buy the reissue. I would not buy a photocopy because sometimes the photocopies are off. And we talked about fabric and materials. I stick to 100% cotton. You can use silk, you can use taffeta, you can use corduroy, velvet, but cotton is by far the easiest to work with because it shears up the best. We talked about the correct appropriate size trims. I would not put anything on the doll larger than a half inch. Quarter inch, one eighth, one fourth, quarter inch, um, half inch. You don't want to go larger than a half inch because that will be too too big for her. Now, it, let's say you have one inch ribbon. You could fold that ribbon in half and tack it onto the dress and make it work. But typically she needs very teeny tiny uh, 
trims. So uh, a customer asked me, how do I find my doll shoes and socks? I buy everything off eBay and I typically buy the shoes with the socks. I don't have that many pairs for her. I have black, white, and red because that matches everything that I need, which gives me a summer look with the white, a winter look with the black, and the red is just for fun. So I hope you've learned a little something from my video. And if I can help you in any way with your Jenny doll um, dressing, then please reach out to me below with any questions. Please watch my other videos because I have other dolls that I'm going to talk about. Have a good day.